I'm Karen. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of things that I've been placing orders for um, to try to find something kind of cool to give away on my channel. And if you don't know, I already have three giveaways going on at this very moment. And make sure to head back over to my channel by clicking on uh, my name down below and it'll take you over there. And of course, you can enter the giveaways. All right, so let's get into this video. Time to do them brows. All right, so this product here comes from hairprint.com. If you watched my last video regarding gray hair and covering it up temporarily without a dye, I talked about this product in there, and I can't remember, I was trying to get information on something, and I emailed the website. I didn't give him my YouTube information. He went and looked at my YouTube channel and happened to see that video that I posted up. He sent me an email back asking me if I wanted to get one of these in the mail, and of course, why would I say no? I've been eyeing this thing for... <sighs> sometime last year when I read about it on this blog. Anyway, so he sent me an email saying, hey, he wants to send me one of these, and of course, give me a little history regarding this product. I mean, I really enjoyed talking to this guy. His name was Paul. He really broke it down regarding this product. He said, it's not a hair dye. What it is is a pigment, and he was explaining how our hair and our eyes are pigments, and the guy who created this thing pretty much wanted to find a way to mimic what nature already does in his own. And he was saying, there's only so many pigments in this world. The difference is how light reflects off of it and of course how we see it what it looks like to us pretty much that's what this product does it mimics the your hair's natural pigment before it started to lose its hair color and go gray and that's what makes this product so cool and the funny thing is he was telling me I needed to clarify my hair and of course if you follow me on my channel you already know that uh, Shea Moisture has sent me some shampoos and one of them funny enough just happens to be a clarifying shampoo <laughs> So I just I just thought that was perfect timing. I have these shampoos some Shea Moisture um, And FYI I have done have not done the porosity test been kind of lazy My friend told me the easy way to do it Which is to take my hair out of the hairbrush and then do the, the water floating porosity test I want to give myself a chance to use the Shea Moisture first and see how that worked before I went into using these because I remember him saying Something about um, you have to clarify your hair and remove all the, the stuff that's on it. You know, all the um, other hair products, uh, you know, maybe use gels, hair, hairspray, oils, things like that. You have to put a, you have to remove it and clarify your hair before using something like this. A few things I thought that they had about this. It says, since the dawn of history, women and men have used minerals and plant-based pigments to adorn their skin and hair. In the past hundred years, that deeply human practice has become toxic. We want to change that. And I just thought that was so cool because if you're aware of how hair dyes and everything work and how they affect your system, that they're going to your scalp. And one of the easiest ways to get anything into your system is through your scalp, through your skin. So you definitely have to be conscious about what you put on your crown. So something to think about. Anyway, I will be testing this out pretty soon and doing an individual video on it. I will. All right, so then let's move on to the next thing that I got. This came from Elf and of course, this is one of them. Um, I got, I was just testing it out. They only have like three shades. And honestly, this is literally um, pretty much almost my skin. So I think it's just a little bit more on the pinky side, but I have to say it's great for covering up. And you see those aren't severely red, so they're cool for you to, you know, do something like this. If it was severely red, I would say it makes a green color corrector with this one right here or with your foundation color and that should be able to cancel it out. But I have to say I love how easily that canceled it out and of course you can just put powder over your face and just call it a day and keep it moving. So, yeah. And then the other thing I picked up from e.l.f. were these two right here. And I was actually very, very excited when I saw this come through on my email I was like oh my gosh this is like everything so of course there's two so this means there's one for a giveaway I was curious about these and it funny enough right shortly after I ordered them what video came up uh what's her name Emily Noel she posted up a video regarding these and talking about how well these worked and I just kind of wanted to show you there's three in here and I haven't got a chance to test them out yet because I definitely want to get um, the other ones to be able to test it out and really, really do a comparison. And the funny thing is, I don't own any beauty blenders. So I thought I would be the perfect candidate to be doing this test right here. So there's no biased opinions because I'm so in love with this other product or anything like that. So I haven't used these yet, but of course you see the sizes in case you own any or you've been eyeing uh, wanting to own one of these. I'm personally more of a brush person. I just am. I like 
the fact that I don't have to wet my brush just to put on my foundation. It takes out an extra step. But if you have issues with applying your foundation, uh, a lot of people love using the Beauty Blender because it just takes the guesswork out of it. All right, and then the next shipment I have, of course, comes from ColourPop. I've ordered two of the same thing. I've already taken mine out. So this one here is part of the giveaway uh, and I got quite a few colors oh how did the box get the, <laughs> the box how did the box get crushed <laughs> so sorry the good thing is it didn't affect the uh, eyeshadow all right so this one is called um, flutes and it's a matte eyeshadow um, it's like one of those nudie nudie colors very very pretty and I love their packaging it's so cute here it is um, the other one it is called so quiche and that's the color. The next one is called Game Face. And this is just a really pretty coppery color. It's something about having warm skin. I feel like those kind of warm tones, like the golds, the bronzes, the coppers, just anything along those lines. I just feel like they look so pretty on warm skin tones. My personal opinion. Ooh, this next one is pretty. I like this one a lot. I used it in my crease already for another makeup look. And this one is called Party Time. That's what it looks like. Very, very pretty color. Now I have to say ColourPop, they're eyeshadows are very very interesting um they're kind of soft spongy feeling like so yeah what i've done is uh in what, a couple of makeup looks that i tried it out because i didn't feel comfortable using my fingers i feel like my fingers are a little too big except for my pinky and i really don't yeah i like a precise look i don't like it to just kind of go anywhere so i used a sponge applicator and then i went over to over it with my fingers so the warmth of my hand could really help the eyeshadow to melt on and flatten out that was how how I did it and it worked out pretty well um for the crease surprisingly enough the matte colors did pretty well too and I was kind of concerned because of how moist they were but it actually they actually turned out pretty good I was like really surprised it's called desert and desert is a very very pretty color it's just a nice little nudie color. And honestly, if you notice, nudes are in right now. Um, and they're always going to be in for everyday look. And I just love this for an all over lid color. Um, oh, and it's so soft. It has a nice little sheen to it. And the last one, of course, is Bill. I feel like Bill goes very, very well with parting time. So, and you can also use it with the last one as well that I put over my lid. Um, I just feel like these two make a really, really really beautiful combo and then you can use them in the crease for other colors you can use them with purples across the board I'm happy with it and I see what all the hype is about when it comes to color pop and then the other plus too is I love the fact that they're paraben free as well all right and that's all that's in that giveaway for the color pop I did get an extra thing from color pop a couple of extras from color pop This lip color here is called Bumble. I'm really not too crazy about, not the color, I love the color, but I'm just not too crazy about how it stayed on per se, but it's okay, I guess it is what it is. Okay, and I have this bought on sale from Walgreens, and I have to say, I was not crazy about it at all. It separated too much. It just didn't go on nice and opaque. It was just patchy. So I only use this when I'm trying to like lighten something up. So just FYI. And I did a did get an extra eyeshadow and this one is erotic. I actually have a makeup tutorial coming up on this one right here. My only complaint about this, but hey, it comes with the territory of using really, really bright eyeshadows like this, which is it stained my eyelids. Yes, it stained it so much that it was on there for over 24 hours. Yes, after removing. Yes. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is from um Hoot. Is it called Hoot? Hot? Hoop? Oh goodness, how do you pronounce it? I think it's pronounced Hoot Look. I always call it Hoot Look for whatever. I guess it'll be Hot Look. I don't know. H-A-U-T-E Look. Yeah, so I got this from there. I have been eyeing the products on that website. Every single time stuff comes through, I always go and eye it. Anyway, I just love the fact that they have a lot of name brand products on their site. I've seen them sell Pure Cosmetics, Kevin Aquan, um, the Bomb Cosmetics, uh, Steve 
Camila, the list goes on and on. Um, who look, that's what I call it. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, I'll leave a link down below as well so you can click on it and check them out. I got these discounted. I was so happy about that because I had actually been very curious about how their eyeshadows apply. I know this is also a conscious brand as well and it's also paraben free. So if you watch my channel, you know that I'm working to do my best to stay away from products that have parabens in them. So, and this is what it looks like. This is just like an everyday eyeshadow palette that you should have in your collection. Now, I'm not crazy about the new dyes that are in here, but I get the concept, but not crazy about it. So once again, I was talking about like the coppers and the golds and things like that. This is what I love about this palette. All right, and then I'm gonna snatch uh, Party Time from Colourpop. All right, so this goes in there. I just tested this out just to make sure that I liked some of the eyeshadow. But I do have to say I love the fact that it has a pinky, uh, a pinky nude shade, which I think will, will be a nice start for a lot of different types of looks as well, especially if you're messing around with burgundies and things like that. Um, or you want to go for a more more cool tone look. So I will say that it's not the warmest palette in the world. It has a lot of nice golds, coppers, and bronzy type shades in there. So I love that. That's the main reason why I picked it up. But the main reason why I even went onto that website was, of course, because they had this there. And I have been wanting to try out this color for the longest. This is Bahama Mama. I just thought it was such a nice, nice shade. Oh, and this, by the way, is in one of the other giveaways as well. So, like I said, if you haven't checked it out, go on to my channel, check it out. And I'm using Shea Moisture's, um, was it, Trope Almond. Let's try this behind my mouth. All right, let's see here. I'm going to use this. And the cool thing is this was only on there for like $10. They even had the um, Betty Illuminizer, the Mary Lou Illuminizers, all of those. They also had those on there as well. But I just felt like I had so many highlighters. I, I, I really, yeah, I wanted to try something else besides another highlighter that I need to run out of <laughs> first before I buy another one. So I love how it gently warms up my skin tone and it's not like out of the way. Like it's not, the color isn't like far fetched from my skin tone. And then I'm just gonna take whatever is left over on this and just kind of blend this out. And this one is um, um, the Amore Metallics um, by Milani. And I believe this is an 01 Chromatic Addict, All right? I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this, um, <laughs> putting this off my lips just as is, but I've been playing around with it, putting it on top of other looks. And so far it's been looking, it makes it look more acceptable. <laughs> Instead of looking all gold out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I did get one more thing. I got this from Sephora. Um, I think they only had three colors. Um, I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out. It might've been three or two. And pretty much it's just, it's pretty much what's in right now. You hold it down to suck the product up and then you just push back down on the button. All right, but clearly you don't want to use that much. You can pretty much do what everybody's been doing. You can mix it with your foundation. You can put it on your fingers and tap on after you apply your foundation so it can blend in with it I wouldn't do it on top of the powder after you set um, so it can blend and look more natural um, this is like all the craze right now with the FX um, the cover FX with their um, little drops they have if you're looking for this I'm sure this is a much cheaper alternative this is going for $20 uh, so yeah to me honestly it also reminds me of the Becca illuminator illuminating uh, whatever it's called the Becca shimmering skin perfecter Honestly, it reminds me so much of this right here in the pump form. That's just the the smaller version. All right, so I'm going to show you side by side what the um, the Becca one looks like. I'm just going to put the Becca one right there and um, and the other one right there for, from Sephora. Just so you can kind of get an idea, the Becca one, I feel like it's a little bit more on the pinky side versus the Sephora has more of a goldish hue to it. Um, yeah, it just does. The, the Becca is definitely more on the pinky side, so I'll say that probably look better for um, cooler skin tones um, with more of a pink undertone or you're just nice and pale and light. Um, and like I said, the other one has a more goldish tone, so that look perfect for people my complexion as well or deeper. But I'm gonna blend these in so you can see what they look like. And that's what it looks like blended in. 
just a beautiful beautiful glow to the skin and like i said you're saving twenty dollars and there yeah unless you're using this every day faithfully i don't see how you're going to use this up anyway that is it for this whole entire makeup haul and giveaway uh thank you so much for sticking in there if you've seen this video through all the way to the end i want to say thank you so much um to enter definitely just go down below read the rules and click on the link to enter into the giveaway as usual anyway i want to say thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to y'all soon bye